next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. He realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader of the years. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, withstand some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. You know, I'm more. Justin I'm Gaethje back from all time. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is one inch taller. The reach is identical. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. Oh! He's there. Throws him up. Go get him. I'm gonna do this to anybody. 
Body is in. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nurmagomedov. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Gaethje. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Oh, the triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Magomedov gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transitions. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Five minutes in the books. So a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, champs, second round now. Your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Justin, the highlight gauge. Gate Cheese's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Fucking. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game. His ability. Oh, that was a big takedown. He's just the one that's going to break it. Close guard. Nice hammer fist. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master. This is a terrible position. Oh, nice. Might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. So 63 total strikes now for Justin Gage. Well, two out of every three strikes, finding the target landing with 67% accuracy against Kabi Ibrahimagomedov. Wow, actually got the takedown. 
right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. And attack an arm ball. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage, the other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Oh. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. There's no give on that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice one-two there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Spinning back fist. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job. Oh, and he gets the takedown here. We'll see what he can do with it. That right hand landed. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC, but now DC trying to isolate an arm. Oh man, he's using that Kimura. He'll try to use the sweep. The Kimura is not the arm; it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Mission defense there. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Gage, she's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. 30 seconds to go here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Mago Medox right back to the full mount. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. 
All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up. If you're fighting for an extra 10 minutes, it's not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. That one is going to end the fight. Yes. <laughs> Gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Back to the feet now. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. Oh, spinning back this lands. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. Punch coming. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Gaethje's got his back. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to... Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. It is the fifth and final round. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut ring. Oh, that's a good strike there behind the Mago Metal. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this one. He won't finish his fight. Takedown defense holds up. No! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, has the guard closed here? Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nermago Meta. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. 
Gaethje gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a... Wow! Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Two minutes now to go in this one. Let's go, guys. Work. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Solid strike on the ground. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Pretty good right hand. Gaethje's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his leg. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision and So there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word, it's, it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that one moment to hear Ann New. And then they want to hear Ann still, but before anything, you got to hear Ann New. And when you hear it, man, it's like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. You know in that moment, that nobody will ever take that away from you. That belt goes with you, and it will live with you for the rest of your life.